Empty's video today because it is still one of my favorite things to watch of other creators because I like seeing if one, if there's any repeats of empties that they continually have. It really shows me what products they like. And then I like hearing if they would repurchase them or not. So I'm going to start with this one because I have two. I have two of these Mega Babe deodorants and my absolute favorite is in Sunny Pits. It's kind of like a, a lemony smell. <laughs> I love anything lemon, but it isn't like too strong. And the reason that I got this one, Rosie Pits, next was because, mm, and at first I didn't really like the scent of the Rosie Pits, but I bought this again, and when I used it, it must have been a funny batch because I bought it and it went in my armpits like dry, like it wasn't like smearing onto my skin. So I went in and exchanged it and it was dry as well. And so I looked at the batch number on it and all the ones in the store were the same batch number. And so I just returned it and got this one because it was a different batch number and it worked just fine. And so I'm thinking there was something funny with the batch because this one was perfect, this one was perfect. So now I need to go back and try this one again, but I love both of them a ton. The smell is good, it lasted a long time, and it was just kinda nice to change up my deodorant. This is what I think happens. I'll wear a brand forever, for like a, a year, six months, and then it doesn't work on me, and so I'll switch, and I don't sweat sweat, but I will notice that I'll, like, if I go through a full day, and I can kinda smell my armpits, that's when I know I need to switch up the brand because I typically don't have stinky armpits and they're not usually sweaty. So that's when I know I need to change. Okay, that was a very long talk about the deodorant, but 10 out of 10, hands down, yes, I would like, I need to buy another one. This hair gel, it's a super hold pomade. Pomade is like a really firm gel. I use this every single drop of this on my boys, on Joel's, all the boys, and like even today I put a little bit like around the edges um, to get my flyaways. It has such a handsome smell to it, but it's, su it's such a good little smell. And maybe I am biased because it reminds me of my boys and my husband's hair, but Hands down, my favorite gel, and it doesn't build up in the hair. That's what I really love about it. I get this off Amazon. I obviously am going to repurchase this. 10 out of 10, for sure. On my Instagram, I have a highlight bubble called FAB, and it stands for First Aid Beauty, where I showed these products. Now I'm coming and telling you that they are completely empty and gone. I want you to go and look through the stories because they have a whole line of stuff. These are the empty bottles that I'm showing you, and they were so good. They were so good. They help exfoliate, tone, and brighten, and this whole line First Aid Beauty is made for sensitive skin, which I was really excited to try all the things in the line. This is just one that my skin doesn't need, it's too dry for it, and it just doesn't really enhance it, but it just irritates my skin a little bit. I won't be repurchasing these, but they are still good. I did like them for my neck and chest. The Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration, hands down, yes. And I like using this for, oh, and it has such a good smell. It, it, it's a little, um, I don't wanna say like medical-y, <laughs> but it has a hint of that like medical, I don't know. I'm weird and I like that, but it is super great for irritated, red, rashy, rosacea skin. It's not terribly expensive, especially for how big the tub is. It lasts you a very long time. So when I put this all over my face, all over my neck, I put a lot in my hands so that I can do my elbows and rub it on my hands at night so that those areas kind of get hit as well. It's really great for anywhere. 10 out of 10, repurchase. This is a no, I won't be repurchasing this. Not because it wasn't good, but just because it didn't work well for my skin. This is a large pump, and it's important that this is the pump 
because I put this in my drawer standing up. So when I wash my hands, I can dry them off, open the drawer, use the lotion right there. My kids come in, use the lotion. Brie walks in the bathroom, opens the drawer, uses the lotion. That way it's off of my counter and put away, but it's like always ready and available. And it's 18 ounces. So, I mean, it's big, it lasts me forever. I don't put this on my face, but I do put it on my kid's face. Olivia puts it on her face. She's kind of starting to notice some things going on with her skin. And so far she's been able to use this on her face and it's been just fine. I don't use it on mine, but I do use this over like my entire body. So 10 out of 10 would will already be repurchasing. I think I have like three downstairs and it's just like always on rotate. And Boston, the back of his hands are really red and chapped from all of the hand sanitizer that they use at school. None of the other kids have, but Boston's has, and he's more dry. The other kids have more normal skin. He has more skin of similar-ish to mine. He gets like weird, not weird things, but like issues with his skin. Like he had that follicle that was Anyway, it's a whole like thing. He uses this at night as well. He has his own little like personalized size that he has by his bed that's really, really cute. This lotion is something that I buy not all the time. It's not like I have to have this on repeat, but it is something that I buy a couple times a year. It is more expensive. <laughs> You can tell that it's expensive because I use, like I get my finger in there and I use like, even in the lid. <laughs> oh, but the smell, okay. Strawberry and Satsuma is the two fragrances that I just mm, snarl at because I just love them so much but they do have like a greasy film. So I don't use this just like, oh, I'm just like moisturizing my hands like five times a day like I do with this stuff because this is like super affordable drugstore. This, however, is, I just use it like if Joel's gonna rub my feet and then I put socks on or if I'm going on a date and I like just shaved and so I want like my entire body to feel like silky smooth, like this is like, an elevated lotion that I don't use every day, but that I use, it's a different mood. Do you know what I'm saying? It's a different mood, a different vibe. Obviously this one's a 10 out of 10. I will be repurchasing, but it's not like an every time it runs out, I'll purchase. So I'm out, I don't have a replacement. And next time I see it at the store, I'll get it. I get it at Ulta. Eyebrow pencil, I love this thing. They have several different kinds of these eyebrow pencils, the brand does, and the one that is a universal shade is the Brow Power Micro. So it's a really, really small tip. This one is completely like gone, otherwise I would show you. There's like nothing to even twist up. The spoolie on the end to brush through the hairs and then just a really tiny tip. And the reason that I like it so tiny is because you can mimic hairs in your eyebrows and it's not just like a thick thing you're running through your eyebrows to fill it in, it mimics hair strokes. I like this because of the shade. My mom uses this shade and she's blonde. I use the shade and I'm super brunette. And so it just really has a really wide variety of color shades that it covers and it's just good. I wish I had something that wasn't a 10 out of 10 so I could like rate it better. But like the empties are things that I just go through. These are like on my repeat. These are like my favorite items. So. It is a 10 out of 10. Back to the lotion situation. We're gonna rate this one. So this is Wander Beauty Dive-In Moisturizer. I actually really love this. I've actually gone through several of these. It is a very good moisturizer, but the fragrance in it. The fragrance in it is not nice for sensitive skin. And so I will put it at a, we're gonna say a five or six because it's great, it moisturizes, it's good, but it irritates me, so I can't use it on my face anymore. I finished using this bottle up on my body. Like I was like, well, I don't wanna waste it. And so I used every last like squeeze of it on like my arms and my chest and my body. Five out of 10. Mm, I love Wander Beauty, but it's just not good for my skin. So we'll give that one right there. I have two more products. The Lash Sensational by Maybelline. I love this mascara, it's really good, but what I notice I have to do is use this as my base, and then when I really wanna make them look a little more darker, a little more longer, I use a higher end mascara 
after I use this one, but I don't let it like dry down. Like I'll use, this as my base because I like how it's kind of thick and it kind of accentuates the length of my lashes, but it doesn't do the trick fully. So I'll give this one an eight out of 10 because I love it. I will be repurchasing it, but I also have to put one, a different mascara over the top. And then this one, this was a splurge that I bought. And at the time I wasn't like, down on my foundation game. I was looking for a cream foundation. You can see I didn't even finish this one because I found a new foundation that I loved even better. It's hard to get to the pan. You have to really put your brush inside and you can see it like goes underneath the packaging. I'm gonna give this a five out of 10 because it is expensive. It did get cakey on my skin, but the color was good. I will not be repurchasing this one, and I'll tell you which one to purchase. This is the Beauty Blender Foundation. It is the most beautiful foundation. I love it, hands down, would buy that again. I have, I've repurchased it twice now. That concludes my empties video. That was really fun. I feel like these are calming videos for me to make, and they help me like focus on the things that I like and that I love. I'm a very product person, like I love product, I love, skincare, I like hair products, I like cleaning products, I like all the things. I try to keep all the bottles through the house. I need to be better about that. I'll be better about like household empties that I go through. Those are the ones for this month. I probably won't do another one for another like month two or three because I don't really go through them that quickly. If you guys like these, please give it a thumbs up. I would love to know what you think. Come to my Instagram and let's talk about it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Good morning, guys. I, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> good, I don't wanna say good morning. Um, Joel is outside working on the brakes. That was really loud. <gasps> Still really loud. What is he doing? If you go to my highlights, I gotta find which highlight it is. So for how, this, what brand is this? This is Giorgio Armani. Is it? Yeah. It is.